But listen, I haven't picked up a new pair as yet, so they're gonna have to work, okay? <laughs> I'm just reiterating the fact that I was never the one to mess with. Okay? Because this is not a vibe. You wanna love. This is what it looks like. Yummy, yummy. Ciao. Hey Stitch Gang, welcome and welcome back to another day in the Stitch Live. So today is actually Thursday. I'm about to head out because I need to get these nails done, y'all. They look crazy. So I need to get these nails done. I kind of want to take pictures as well. So I figured I'd bring you guys along with me. I low-key need to get a wax. I wrote my lady to see if she had any available appointments today, but she hasn't responded to me as yet. So we'll see. But before we start this video off before we start this vlog off if you're new here make sure you hit that red subscribe button down below follow me on instagram at the stush life leave this video a big thumbs up and if you have any questions about anything that happens in today's video feel free to drop it down below i'm here i'll respond to you so yeah make sure you guys do all of that before we start this video off if you haven't already so yeah let me show you guys what i'm wearing girl i cannot talk let me show you guys what i'm wearing really quickly before i head out the house but yeah, our main focus today is to get our nails done. It's already kind of late in the day. It's like 12.33. But I recorded a video before this. So I'm not too mad at what time it is. If I have to wait at the nail salon, I'll just have to wait. But first things first is my headband from 7 Mia. I actually just got this new color in the mail maybe like three days ago. Black owned business, black owned hair accessory business. I got this nice mint green color and it works really nicely with my outfit. I'll leave the link down below if you guys are interested and I'll leave my coupon code on the screen. If you want some money off your purchase on the site, feel free to use my code. So yeah, I have that on. And then I also have this Sean John dress that I picked up from Misguided. They collaborated with Sean John. So let me flip the camera around better so you guys can see the fit. So you guys to see the fit. Ooh, let me pull it down a little bit. Yeah, this is what the dress looks like. It's ribbed and it's real thick. Like it is of great quality. I've only purchased once from Misguided and it was from their Sean John collection. And yeah, their items are of great quality. I will be purchasing more Misguided pieces. But yeah, this is the dress. She's real cute. And I'm also wearing my ones, my Air Force ones. With some nike socks they are very busty but listen i haven't picked up a new pair as yet so they're gonna have to work okay earrings are from shein all my jewelry is from shein as well my watch is from mark jacobs and i'm also going to bring my Givenchy and tagona purse that you guys should have seen in a vlog like my where i've been vlog i showed you guys that bag so yeah i'm bringing that and yeah, we out of here. I'm also bringing my Canon 80D with my 50mm lens. And I'm going to bring my tripod as well to take pics. Child, I was about to walk out the door with no fragrance. No, ma'am. Takes a walk. So, I moved my fragrance. They used to be over here. I switched it and put it... I now have it on my Alex 9 Ikea. So, tis she. So, what am I about to put on today? Let's see. So, I'm putting on this Moschino, Moschino, however you pronounce it. I'm putting on the Fresh Gold Couture, Gold Fresh Couture. Putting a bit of that on. It's real light, but it still does its fizz nye. And I'm also going to put on a little bit of my Born in Roma by Valentino. This is Bay. And dash eats. Weezy out of here. Be set up like a gango jump to love. I went for nobody for your thought. At the end of the day, this is true. True love. Okay, so I made it to my destination. Um, I called my nail tech before arriving here, and he told me he had one individual in front of me. He said around 1 30. It's currently 1 o'clock right now. I was gonna say 12.59, basically one o'clock. So I'm gonna see if I could try to take some pictures before my appointment. Hopefully he doesn't call me before 1.30 because then he'd be lying. But yeah, I brought my tripod and my camera as you guys saw earlier. I'm gonna touch my nose up a little bit. I don't know if I'm gonna take pictures on my camera or on my, like my, G my Canon 80D or if I'm gonna take it on my iPhone. But 
I'm gonna take them. The sun is shining on me. Thank you, Jesus. Let me show you guys my setup. My phone and my tripod. And I'm gonna be using this little remote. I just have to hook it up. Hey, I don't even think y'all can see me on here. My freaking phone fell a while ago because I have like a silicone case on it and I got so scared, y'all. Um, let me go to settings and turn the Bluetooth on this. This one better work. Sometimes they act real funny, real finicky. This is UE Boom, I think. I mean, UB size. Connected. And it's low key nice up here, like there's a little breeze. Unless this is the 80 shutter. Technicalities. Maybe it's the AB shutter. If not, I'm gonna have to just use another app. Oh, it's the AB shutter lit. So the Bluetooth is on. Let me get a little, what's the call it? Hold on, this child right here. Okay, y'all, my nail tech just called. I just finished taking pictures. I'll update you guys in a little bit. Let's go do these nails because this is not a vibe. So before. Woo. Let go, let go, let go, let go, let go. He better not have started somebody else. Okay, new nails who this so this is what my nails look like Hopefully it's focusing. Hopefully you guys can see it Let me see if y'all can see it a little bit better. So I wanted diamonds on all the nails, but I Didn't have an appointment and I just pretty much called them and let them know I was coming He's in like a regular shop and people were coming in and were asking how long he was gonna take to finish my nails so he had three people at the time that he was doing my nails. So I'm like, all right, we could skip the diamonds on all the fingers. We'll just put it on two. But um, he did a pretty decent job. Kevin understood the assignment. It's exactly what I wanted. I wanted it to be like a pink and purple kind of vibe. And that's exactly what we got. So new nails. I also try to record a reel. So hopefully when I'm editing, when I'm editing it, I like it. But I was looking, I was trying to look at some of the pictures when he was doing my nails, but of course, of course he had people waiting, so I was trying not to be on my phone too much, because you gotta keep switching hands. But I saw some of these pictures, they look really nice, because I came back out and I'm like, okay, the sun is still out, do I need to take more pictures? But I'm looking at them now and they look, they look, they look really good. So I think I'm good to go. I know I need to get gas. Like, let me find a picture real quick, let me show y'all. I gotta go through and delete these, because there's a million. <laughs> No, like look at this girl do y'all see this like I was trying to flip my hair and it took a picture I low-key would like to do this full body again but I think I like the ones of me on the floor anyways so I don't even need to do all of that y'all see I don't think I can see but I'm gonna put it up on the screen so you guys can see it in full like who is she who is that person yeah I'm gonna put it up on the screen so you can see him but I'm gonna go through them when I get home because I'm hungry and I only brought one of these with me this cranberry almond bar these kind bars are so good well i like this one i don't really like the chocolate and all that other extra stuff the cranberry almond it's a hit so yeah nails are done nails are done nails are looking cute i'm gonna go get gas and then probably go home and make something to eat it is restaurant week i was gonna go out i thought about like treating myself but i think i'm gonna go out on sunday or maybe saturday so 
I'll spend my coin then. No need to spend money today because I did go to Trader Joe's last night, even though I didn't vlog it. I did go to Trader Joe's last night. There's a ton of food in the house, so I'm gonna bring my ass home and make food in the house, okay? Rather than buying food outside when there's food at home. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'll catch you guys in a little bit. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. The ice cream truck is out. I don't know why I look so red. I'm on the right setting. But I'm on my back patio now, as you guys can see. Let me move this up. Drinking my healthy kombucha. This is the Pink Lady flavor. And I made something real quick to eat from Trader Joe's. I think it's called the Fiocchetti pasta and I added some shrimp to it. This is what she looked like, matter of fact. Hold up, hold up, hold up. This is what it looks like. Yummy, yummy. This is the thing with being outside. I mentioned earlier that I went to Trader Joe's yesterday, so I picked up a lot of pasta because I kind of been I've been trying to gain weight. I used to be like one roughly like 125 when I was eating meat, but since I stopped eating meat, I usually just eat like chicken and a ton of seafood now. Chicken, turkey, ton of seafood. I've gained I've lost a lot of weight, gained a lot of weight. I've lost a lot of weight, so I'm trying to get my weight back because I'm not actually like one I was like 115. The other day I checked my weight, I was 109. I said, oh no, <laughs> this is not the vibe. This is not the way to go. So I got a lot of pasta yesterday from Trader Joe's. So that's what I'm eating right now. It's my first time trying this one. So let's see. That's kind of good. It's filled with cheese and I did add a little bit of that hot sauce, hot paste. I forgot what it's called. I got that at Trader Joe's too. It tastes really good on in any of your pasta dishes. If you like spicy stuff, pick it up. So, I'm going to do that. I'm trying to see if I should light this citronella candle because these mosquitoes love the kids. I'm trying to see if I love my nails. I don't know. Sometimes it's like a day to grow on me, so we'll see. Is that a bug on my forehead? No. Being outside is cute until... The bugs come out okay i also have my laptop out here so i think i'm gonna play some music while i'm meds catch a little vibe real quick and then i might start editing tomorrow's video not this vlog but tomorrow's video yeah get away <laughs> Hey gang, so it is currently Friday. I'm about to go to this poetry show. I've been wanting to go to one of these for a little while. Like I used to love going to them in college. And, and there is actually one being held in Queens and a few people that I know are actually going. So, so that's what I'm about to do. I'm actually here by myself. Kendra and I were supposed to go, but she had things to do. So I'm gonna go. Um, I usually don't go to things by myself, but I gotta start doing that, especially if I wanna go on solo trips and I've been wanting to go on a solo trip for a minute now. So this is my first fake outing dolo. So yeah, that's what we're doing. So I figured I'd bring you guys along with me. So I'm technically like, not like 100% by myself, but yeah, let's go. So far, as dark skin people, they called me plenty names back in the day. Midnight. <laughs> Midnight train to Georgia. <laughs> One time somebody who called me under the bed. The perception that no matter how much adversity is thrown our way, we still have the everlasting propensity to take slights, disenfranchisement, and prejudice on the chin. Though most times the term is used exclusively within the black community to describe the ageless appearance of those who seem to defy the test of time. <laughs> Sitting with poise, distinction, and determination, we set goals to achieve them, give thanks to receive them, and in a religion to believe in, but dreaming, 
Dreaming is a moment of time. A privilege of time. You see, the idea of using a person's face in real life is real. Every tear that just passed a smile on a face and a dream that you make. Even if this kid has never paid attention to a single word, I have shot it with such passion. Then in that very moment, if not anything else, my purpose was to show up and give this kid an opportunity to use my face so that he may one day dream. You can say I'm difficult. Or so I've been told, but that just sounds like it's coming from someone who doesn't know how to handle me. My apologies if you find me a bit too challenging. I mean, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that my past PTSD from my past relationships causes me to think that you can't be good to me. You say I'm being a detective, but I just think I'm being protective. Excuse me if my tone of voice is a bit aggressive. I'm just reiterating the fact that I was never the one to mess with. Okay. I'm sorry, I let it happen again. I let past experiences with shitty ass men dictate the way I interact with you. And I really want to trust, but it's obvious I still have some issues I need to get through. I never said that loving me was going to be easy. Because exhales were a nuisance to the world. Oh, do you know what it feels like to have your exhales be a nuisance to the world? Being bullied can make you feel like you dropped out of God's pocket when he wasn't looking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As if every word was a bomb. Exploding conversations, rendering rows of opportunity into scorched petals, he felt as if his skin was embarrassed of his flesh. As if his smile had been barricaded behind fear for so long that he lost his god given right to show his crooked teeth to display joy. What's the point? Became the model of his life. If people at bricks of coke and weed for the same price they sell those college degrees, then who's really trapping? I mean, to me, the biggest drug in this country is his undefined chance of success. And we shoot up. Every chance that we get, mm -hmm. pictures of potent boys and poking through our eyes and our ears outlining how we're supposed to live our years. We get high of images that ain't even real, but yet mm -hmm. we're still at it, still addicts, fresh new sneakers, but still can't kick the habit. The profession that she chose was bold. Shorty make money dancing on the pole. Daddy issues run deeper than the nine to five. Ain't no lunch break when you somebody's fantasy. Dancing for these men and don't see the angel that you could be. But I know you gotta put in that overtime, so OT, OT, OT. I pray every day that you make your home in one piece. Exclusive Cherokee. Now I'm not talking about Pocahontas, even though she's the baddest cartoon I've ever seen in two. Guess who's home and needs to take off her makeup? Me, and I have work early in the morning, so I see y'all. Hey guys, so it is the next day. I was about to start editing the vlog, and I'm like, I don't even think I ended the vlog. Please disregard the music you guys hear in the background. My neighbors are having a blast <laughs> next door, but I wanted to go ahead and end the vlog. I was gonna end it tomorrow after going to this event, but I feel like the vlog is gonna be too long, so I'm gonna end it here. But I did update my nails really quickly. I added a line. Oh, they pause the music for a second. I added a line. Can y'all see? I feel like white would have been better, but the gold is kind of cute. But yeah, I wasn't really 100% satisfied, but, but I didn't have him add the line at the time because he had three people waiting. I don't know if I mentioned that already, 
but I went ahead and added a line they look a little bit better now but yeah I'm gonna end the vlog I hope you guys really enjoyed this vlog if you guys did make sure you leave your girl a thumbs up down below uh, damn near scratch my face I scratched my face a while ago. But yeah, make sure you thumbs it up down below. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe down below as well. Turn on your post notifications so that way you're alerted whenever I upload the next video. And if you have any questions or comments about anything that happened in this video, feel free to drop it down below. I'll see you guys all in the next vlog. The next vlog should be fun because I'm going to an influencer event tomorrow, which you guys will see sometime next week. So I hope you guys have a great Sunday. Love you guys. Thank you guys so, so much for continuously supporting me. And until next time, I'll see y'all later. Bye guys, enjoy your Sunday. Got this new color in the mail maybe like three days ago. The ghetto. I actually just got to get back into it. I actually just got this new color in the mail maybe like the sun is, the sun is, the sun is shining on me. The sun is shining on me.